tourism is the fastest growing industry and ecotourism is the fastest growing sector within that industry. Ecotourism can be defined as activities involving the natural world with the aim of aiding conservation and providing tourists with the opportunity to view wildlife. However, these aims have created a debate among environmentalists on whether they actually provide a benefit to the environment or create additional problems. One of the biggest ecotourism hotspots is Africa, with many tourists flocking to countries such as South Africa to undertake wildlife experiences on both land and sea. These include activities such as shark watching trips and game drives in any of the numerous game reserves the country has established. Kruger National Park, for example, attracts over 1 million visitors annually. These activities generate money to reinvest into conservation of the environment and also into the local community. For example, money earned at Addo National Park not only goes back into the park itself, but also into the communities surrounding the park, supporting a number of diverse projects. By involving local communities, environmental awareness is raised, educating and hopefully preventing poaching and further destruction of the land. Tourists also benefit from this education and conservation is promoted. Shark trips, for example, can help raise awareness of an animal which many people have bad perceptions of and may not necessarily understand their need for protection. While ecotourism is advertised and perceived by the masses as a positive service for the environment in Africa, it is not necessary to look hard to see that ecotourism is not always what it seems. As mentioned earlier, money generated is reinvested back into conservation. However, there are many places where the experiences are won for a profit, rather than protection, and only a small percentage of the money is actually reinvested. These places tend to be private reserves. To make a profit, they have to create a unique and memorable experience for the tourist, which may involve disturbing animals. Kariga, a private game reserve, drives tourists in safari jeeps right into the animals' habitats, getting extremely close to the animals in the process. This can either frighten or distress the animals. The proximity to the animals can also cause them to become accustomed to humans. For example, on shark watching trips, the sharks are brought close to the boats through the use of bait, which could cause considerable problems in the future. The sharks may no longer perceive boats as a threat, and in a country where poaching is a problem, this could be dangerous. The way that private experiences are run needs to be regulated to avoid the problems mentioned. If this can be achieved in the long term, the benefits of ecotourism will outweigh the disadvantages. Strict guidelines of where tourists can be taken need to be established and the interactions that tourists have with the animals should be monitored. Ecotourism has a long way to go before it is the perfect balance of income generating tourism and conservation. As for now, it appears that ultimately money is still the driving force. <laughs>